You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. My dear friends, it's great to be here with you again for this 23rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins, and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out or dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If, if today you, you hear his voice, voice harden, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah as in the days of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, though they had seen all of my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor, hence love is the fulfillment of the law. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And also with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, wherever you bind on earth, you shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth, it shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, it's a frequent thing in our society today that you often hear people say, I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. Or why do I need to go to church? I can pray at home. What benefit does going to church be for me? In today's readings, we hear about the fact that our life as Christians isn't meant to be lived alone, and that we depend upon other people to help us, to help us find God, and also to help us attain our salvation and draw closer to Jesus Christ. We often hear that it is true you can pray anywhere you want, but only in a community, only in the church can you actually worship God. And in the Gospel today, Jesus promises us that when we gather together, when we pray in His name, and when we work on each other, correcting faults, leading other people back to Christ, and trying to provide for those who are most in need, God is present with us. And God truly becomes present in the midst of His church, in the midst of the church that we are, and in the midst of our celebration as a community of God. Let us pray today then for all those who don't go to church anymore, and for all those who don't see a need for the church and for receiving Christ in the Eucharist. And let us pray that just like this Gospel, they might recognize that Christ is present in His church. And let us also remember in our lives that the Christian life is not meant to be lived alone, and that we do need to help each other, and we do need to support one another as we move on the way to salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us bring our prayers and petitions before God, who hears and answers all prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop David, all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may lead the church with faith and fidelity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our government leaders, national and local, that they might enact laws of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick in our community and those who have no one to pray for them that they might know the healing touch of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those in our community who no longer go to church, and who maybe no longer see a need for church, that they might listen to the Lord, and they might come back to build the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our deceased brothers and sisters, that they may be welcomed into the joy of the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And good and gracious God, 
We thank you for all of these gifts and benefits. We are confident that you hear and answer all prayer, for we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, be faithfully united in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give them thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people, formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and no, with your so spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that You should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It was great to be with you again on this Sunday. Hope you have a blessed week, and I look forward to being with you once again for Sunday Mass. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.